Hello dreamers and welcome again to Night Train. Today I'm going to show you how to take one of your blank sleeves and create a texture for cobblestone like this. Now there's going to be a ton of drying times on this video. There's several instances where we use quite a bit of glue and it takes a lot to dry this stuff. So whenever that happens, you'll see the following video. Several song-filled hours later. First, you'll want to start off with just a scrap piece of cardboard. Take your blank sleeve roller and add a line to it. Mark off on the cardboard about a quarter to half inch away from each side of the roller. Mark these lines all the way down your cardboard. Next, mark a spot where the line of the roller meets the cardboard. Roll your roller down the cardboard until the line meets the cardboard again and make some more marks. About an inch away from these marks, you're going to want to close off your rectangle. This will ensure that whatever you make inside this rectangle will cover the entire roller. Next, you're going to want to purchase these little styrofoam balls. I bought a whole package of these from the Dollar Tree store for a dollar. Spread some glue around in your rectangle and smear it out with your finger. Pour some of the balls all over the rectangle and smash them down flat with your hand. You can take the little balls that have gone off to the sides and fill in the little gaps. Don't fill them all in. And then just pour some more glue on top. Several song-filled hours later. Next, you want to cover the whole thing with some petroleum jelly. This will ensure that the stuff we put on top of it doesn't stick. Next, a layer of toilet paper is added and pressed down with a paintbrush. Another layer of toilet paper on top of that. And a mixture of your PVA glue and water. Stamp down and press down. You want to press down all the paper down into all the tiny grooves. Add another piece of paper and repeat, repeat the process. I think overall I probably used seven to eight sheets of toilet paper on this. You'll just want to keep continuing the process adding PVA glue and water mix when it starts getting a little bit dry. Sometimes it helps to just press down with your hand first to get it to stick and then come back with your brush and push down into all the little grooves and creases. Getting them into the grooves and creases is very important. On the final layer, you'll just want to press it down with your hand like this and not push down with your brush like this. This is right before my final layer. Here's my final layer. I put a piece over top, press it down with my hand, and then after you press it down with your hand, you're going to want to get one of your blank sleeves that you've made. Take it and roll it back and forth across the edge. What this does is it creates these two lines on the sides. You want to try to keep it within those lines. We'll use these lines to trim off later. Several song-filled hours later. Once it's completely dry you can remove it from the tiny balls and trim off along the lines that we made. This is what mine looked like after I had trimmed off the sides. 
Now we trim off the ends. This next step, will you'll have to be very careful and trim the ends until they meet just around your PVC piece. Next, add some glue to your PVC piece and smooth it out with your finger. Make sure it's a good thin layer. Wrap your new texture around your PVC. Several song-filled hours later. Now that it's dry, you can go back to the seam that you made. Add some more PVC glue, PVA glue, I'm sorry, and you can fix any mistakes with the end of a paintbrush. Several song-filled hours later. Now that's dry, you can add some Mod Podge to it. I like to pour my Mod Podge just in the lid of the Mod Podge. Just brush some on. It doesn't have to be very thick. This is what mine looked like once I got done painting it on there. And find a good place to set it so it can dry for a while. Several song-filled hours later. Once that's dry, I put a little bit more PVA glue on the edge. Several song-filled hours later. Flip it over and do the other edge. Several song-filled hours later. Once all that is dry, you'll want to use your clear acrylic sealer on it. This will help it keep from being tacky. Several song-filled hours later. Now that it's complete, you can use it to roll out great cobblestone texture. Once you get it rolled out, you can paint it up like this. That's about it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you great success on all your future builds. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.